Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 71st episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 11th episode of Season 2 titled Song of Guitardo. We start this episode at the Youth Center where Kimberly is writing a song on her guitar and Zack sits down, complimenting her. They're going on a picnic tomorrow with the others in the park, and Kim needs help with the lyrics from Zack since he has a way with words. Doesn't matter, Zed is watching for some reason and he decides that this is the correct inspiration to be used to create a monster. Then Goldar says the dumbest thing I've ever heard. A guitar isn't alive, so Zed can't create a monster out of it. Did you forget about the beetle that you made from a flyer, Goldar? Or that goat monster that came out of a mythology book? How about that monkey suit that you just made real? Zed ignores this stupid thing anyways, and says that where there's wood, there's bugs, and he decides to find a cicada to turn into his guitar monster, which will put the rangers into his control with its guitar. At the park the next day, the six are hanging out having a picnic when Richie goes by, and Trini invites him to join him, but he can't because he still has to unpack from the move to Angel Grove. Now we get the best Bulk and Skull scene ever. Skull is dressed as a princess, while Bulk is dressed as a monster, and they fight over who gets to be the bait, but not the jail variety. Skull yells and the teens come running while Kim leaves her guitar behind. They advise Bulk and Skull to not cry wolf, but they don't care. Zed uses his weird ass moment as a perfect opportunity to create his monster. Bulk and Skull are running around and they're exhausted, and Bulk can't get his helmet off because it's stuck, and then there's a giant fake cicada on Bulk's shoulder, which Zed turns into a limp monster suit. This monster then chases Bulk and Skull away. Zordon gets in contact with the rangers, and he tells them that they need to come to the command center right away, despite it just being like right behind them. While Zordon fills them in, Tommy is examined by Alpha to see if he has enough power to fight. Then they see that the guitar monster has stolen Kim's guitar and turned it into an evil version of it for some reason, before Zack gets a nice line in. What is that bug up to? 10 out of 10 Walter Jones acting and character consistency. Billy says that they need to always fill their minds with their own thoughts to resist succumbing to the guitaro song. Alpha says that Tommy's powers are only good enough to basically fail at any time. Kim asks why they can't just re-energize him, and Alpha just says that's not an option with no explanation. Tommy says his one out while the other five morph to action. It's a shame they're useless though, because within a few moments with some recycled Jason and Zack lines, he gets Zack, who just starts floating. Then he gets Trini, Jason, and Billy, who also float. It's almost like this was supposed to be a gravity-based monster instead of mind control. Now it's up to Kim, who is panicking and trying to concentrate. At the command center, Tommy is seeing this happen and he says that he has to go help no matter what the risk, so he morphs, saving Kimberly. Now Tommy just charges ahead to show off, while Kim is like, you have to like concentrate or whatever. Doesn't matter, Guitardo tells him to join him at the fair, and he disappears. And Tommy says that he's gonna go after him, and he tells Kim to stay put and talk to Zoran about getting the others free. Zoran says the only way to return them to normal is that they have to defeat the Guitardo. Luckily, Tommy finds the monster on a random stage and attacks. There's a nice fight between the two before Guitardo gets the upper hand playing his guitar, which causes Tommy to begin floating briefly, but he plays his Dragon Dagger, which interrupts the music freeing him. I feel like they could just play music by the others and they'll be free, but whatever. Tommy gets hit again and he starts sinking into the ground now instead of floating, and he drops his Dragon Dagger mm -hmm. like a dweeb. Then Kim shows up and she uses her power bow as a harp to stop Guitardo. Tommy is free again, and the two try to fight the monster until Kim says, F this, and she uses the dragon dagger with the power bow, firing it at the monster, destroying him right away. We see the other four fall while Kim's guitar returns to where it once was. In the youth center, the rangers are finishing their picnic there because it's pouring rain outside, which means that they probably ran out of time with their location permit. Bulk and Skull show up, and Bulk asks them to help him with his helmet, and Billy says that he's just gonna start trying to rip it off. Then Bulk just rips Skull's wig off. The teens laugh at them and then Tommy says, <laughs> I'm gonna miss this. It's gonna be really hard to say goodbye. What a downer, Tommy. Kim plays him the song that she was doing before where they basically say that memories never die and that friends will always be there with him. Cheers up Tommy well enough, I guess. But hey, can we talk about how Richie is just creepily watching this happen in the background? Why didn't Trini invite him around this time? This episode was one of my favorites as a child, but I couldn't tell you why now. Probably because it was one of those random episodes I just had recorded on VHS that I could watch over and over and over again. 
I will say the story arc of Tommy losing his powers is getting a hell of a lot more drawn out than I had originally anticipated. And I'll be honest, that's not like a totally bad thing. In fact, I think it benefits from it because if Tommy does leave, it's going to feel like they actually earned it for once. Other than that, once again, Jason, Zack, and Trini are completely mute while morphed when they're not saying recycled dialogue. Honestly, I prefer this to what we get later with horrible voice doubles. When will those appear? Maybe next episode. But until then, may the power protect you.